Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. In the last episode, we lost our D-Tree. We lost Pastor Al, and we have Sporal Spores. I need to go take care of those before we do anything else. Because <laughs> they are going to be a big problem. And as, once we're done with this, I will oops, talk with... Uh, Wrigley. And we'll figure out where we're gonna go. Because we have gotten... Oops. Oh, no. Does that count as... A block over there? No, it doesn't. Because it lets air through. There we go. Um, I need... I also need to fix the base a bit. Where did the poles go? Oh, they're right there. So, yeah, the brainy baboon sort of... did a bad one. Yeah. Okay, I checked all around the base. I didn't see any more, but that doesn't mean they're not there. So, uh... Ugh. So, the ones that I did, um, those were the only ones. Alright, let's talk with Wrigley. Running from, running from the children of Aragon took me from one, of, one end of this island to the other, and everywhere in between. I think I caught a glimpse of an old tea tree on my travels. It wasn't exactly on, on this island, though. It was a little island off, just off the coast. Too far to swim, mind ye. So, wingless wonders looks like us can't get there. <laughs> ah, but if Amanda uses the windbreaker, you can just fly over there. You've been to Four of a Bog, haven't you, Amanda? And you've met the orc in the old tomato farm, didn't you? Yeah. If you warp to that farm, then head east from out into the rainforest, you'll see a path up to the north. Just that leads to the top of a rocky headland. You should be able to spot the island as the D trees on as the D trees on from there and fly over with the windbreaker of yours. Off you go then, you two. Fly that way. Fly to that little island. Find the old D tree and find out how to build a new one. Okay. Alright, so I believe that's down here. Oh, we need to go there. What is this? Well, we'll just head there, see what we can find. Oh man, this sky. It's bad. Oh, hey, your tomatoes blossomed. Oh, hello. Ooh. That's okay. Maybe it'll wear off by the time we finish talking to him. Hello again, human. I hope you're all right. The air is thick and the sky is dark these days. It's been a long time since I've seen the ill wind get this bad. I wonder what could have ha could be behind it. I hope you two ain't going to tell me you're looking for that old D tree, are you? We are. Well, if you are, it's east of here. Keep going until you reach the ocean, then turn left. There's a rocky headland that's almost like stone staircases. At the top, you'll find a signpost, and that's about the closest you'll ever get to the D-Tree. Unless you know how to fly, of course. There should be a fat rat at the base of the mountain. You should ask him for help. I've heard he knows a lot about that sort of thing. Oh, okay. Alright, then this way we go. Uh, I'm just gonna leave all of you alone. I don't feel like it. Man, it is really hard to see. See? <laughs> see. This stuff is thick. Uh, like, super thick. Uh, you are not friendly. If you climb up these muddy stairs behind me, all the way to the top of this cliff, you can just about make out the remains of the old D-Trees. But all you'll be able to do is look. 
You'll need to be able to fly to get closer to it. Of course, if you had a windbreaker, it'll be a different story. Then you could jump off the cliff and press X to whip it out and glide over. Okay. Up oh, we go. Oh, you're gonna be a problem. Uh, please no. I said no. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. He he's he's not playing nice. Ow. Hey, dude, I'm trying to heal over here and you're not helping. Please 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 no. Haha. <laughs> oh hey, we got another one of those seeds. Why? Go away. Leave me alone. I just want... I think they're gonna be more aggressive because, you know, we sort of did the day! D3. Well, he's kind of almost there. Almost, kind of, sort of. Maybe... Getting close. There we go. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Man, this is really far up here. What is that? Oh, it said talk, so I thought the grass was going to talk. Just when you finish growing everything you need to grow, that ugly ape goes and destroys it all. I'll get back for him for this, for Pastor Owl's sake. Oh, I think it's just dead grass. But it looks weird. Like, really weird. Oh. Okay, here's the signpost. May the D-Tree bring hope to the land, a hope that lies on the far horizon. Amanda hears a strained voice inside her head. Amanda, my child, come to me. Leapest thou from the cliff and unfold thy windbreaker with a single tap on X. This must be the headland Wrigley was talking about. So how about Amanda? Shall we try using the windbreaker to fly over there? Yep. Oh boy. Wow. Whoa. This bad? This 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 bad. Humans, what are you doing sucking around here? Look for the original D tree, are you? Well, you're too late. It was destroyed by the blame brainy baboon himself, in all of his infinite wisdom. And that's not all. The primate turned your silly symbol of hope into the source of your suffering. What makes the spoils spoils, you say? The The Okay, my computer just made a whole bunch of noise, and I was like, what is that? Yeah, uh, it's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> Who makes the spoils spoils you best? The disease. Decrepit D-Tree does. <gasps> the D-Tree? No way. So this is where the ill wind comes from? <laughs> this is holy ground, humans. A place for the children of Hargon to offer their thanks to them. I priest. And now that you've seen our secret, I'm afraid we cannot let you leave alive. Alrighty, that's fine with me. I brought plenty of food. Oops, 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 oops. We need to take out the uh, those guys first. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No, no, no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ow. Fine. Be that way. No, 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 no. Oh, ow. Uh, I'm trying to kill this guy back here, Baboon. You are not helping at all. Of course he's not helping. Why would he help? They're the bad guys, Amanda. What did you expect? Okay, all we have is this guy. And with Malroth and myself working on him. It shouldn't be too far. Yay! Monsters are defeated. 
Haha, <laughs> <laughs> children of Hargon. More like chumps of Hargon. Still, I can't believe they turned the D-Tree into some kind of spoil-spreading filth fountain. Wow. Are there any depths they won't stop stoop to? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. What's this creepy looking light? Uh, hi. Who art thou? Why dost thou approach me? I was once known as the Dee Tree. But alack, my branches hath rotted away, and my heart filled with poison. Now the breeze that bloweth from my... From me bringeth not but destruction. I know not who thou art, but thou cannot remain in this place. The danger is too great. Thou and thy friends seek to create a new tea tree? To rid this land of its corruption? Very well. Should this be thy wish, thou first must needs destroy me. What? Black rotted wood thou seeks above thou seest above was once my mighty trunk. Amidst the withered husks, some small scraps of my harpwood yet remain. I bid thee take it and bring it to me. Uh okay. Uh, I'm kinda seriously tempted to destroy all of these because they give um, seeds? And seeds I kind of need. So. Alrighty. That's a one. I know it's a bit time consuming, but I really would like the seeds. Oops. But that's also a problem. I drop. You know what? I'll, I'm just gonna do this and then I'll meet you guys when I get the wood. Okay, I got a few seeds. Black and bark. Ooh. Okay, so let's go into first person and grab these seeds. How did the original builder make these? I have no idea. Also, I dropped a seed. Oh. There we go. There's the seed that I was looking for. Uh, oh, there we go. Thou hast done well. Thou hast destroyed me. Within the holy heartwood, thou hast gathered, burneth, what little remaineth of my life burneth? Only now may I finally die. Aww. The fair island of Fullerfield is set on a course of destruction. The ill will that flowed from my corrup corrupted form hath spread far and wide. I fear that my destruction alone cannot bring, bring an end to the evils that plague this land. But thou hast my strength. Through the power that still dwelleth within my heartwood, a new deity may be born. Hast thou the skill to accomplish this feat, young builder? Canst thou convince of the form I once took? And the form I must... The form I must needs take once more. Aye. There is something else that would do well to recall young builder creation is born of destruction but more not for nothing can be built from nothing i await the day when thou wilt build a new d tree and return life and light to this fair island thou hast my deepest thanks for destroying me 
Oh, he was alive this whole time. Oh. Whoa. Ha ha ha, you've done it already, haven't you, Amanda? You've designed a new tea tree. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head back to the farm and get that bad boy built. Okay. Blood first. Oh, okay, never mind. No, but first. Uh, that That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I didn't even see what that was. Whoops. Well, we got the blueprint. Oh boy. This is... This is... This is a lot. Okay. Blimey, well, heck! Is this what I think it is? Are you building a new D-tree? Amanda, do you really intend to build a new D-tree from scratch? Do you have any idea of the scale of the task you plan to undertake? Nope. <laughs> brilliant, my girl. Simply brilliant. You plan to build a tree from a blueprint. The very thought of it. I never heard of more ridiculous idea in all my life. Wow, Bonozo. And yet, this foolish, nay, flound heartedness has reignited the fire of passion within my heart. Everyone, let's give this one more try. Let's build a new tree, D tree, and make Burrowful Farm flourish again. Okay. Everyone to your positions. Rosie's right. We rebuilt the farm once, and we all went up, and it all went up in smoke. But the dream ain't ever over yet. Yeah, and with Amanda here, I bet the whole thing will be a piece of cake. Maybe. We'll have a new duty in, like, in no time. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll make you proud, Pastor Al. Just you watch. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Let's build Furl Furrowfield a new D tree. Hurrah! Okay. Um. Sure. That. All right. Oh, water! Just look at the Gert big. Oh, it's supposed to be great. Oh, okay. Big blueprint. This tea tree is going to be a real beauty. That seals it. My days of traveling Wrigley are over. We we'll staying here to help out and see this tea tree being. Building business through to the end. Good lord. That's if it has an end. Forgive me, Amanda, but I cannot help but think that the blueprint isn't quite finished. Wait, I think I understand. This isn't the whole tree. It's just the bottom bit. You've split it up in three sections, right? What an excellent idea. Three small projects. Three? Sure, it's not like a million? It's so big. <laughs> it will be easier than handling one big one. Huge one. You know, Amanda, I learned a lot from Pastor Al, but here's one thing he never taught me. He said there's a way to bestow the bee tree to bee tree. The D tree with even more power. But he never got around to telling me what it was. Excuse me. I'll have to go over my notes from my time under his tutelage. If I have if I find anything out tell you right away. Okay. Alright, Bonozo. Thanks again for drawing up the blueprint, my girl. It's got us all enthusiastic about building again. In fact, we're all so fired up making the new D-tree that we want to help build it ourselves. Oh. Okay. I suspect that the urge to create that wielding welled up within us each time you rang that big that great bell was all in aid of this. We're fated to help you build. The only problem is we're not really sure what to do. We've got actually we've never actually built anything before. Not properly anyway. That is why you must show us how it's done. Gather a few blocks of bark 
and begin building the blueprint. We shall follow your lead. We'll need more than a few blocks to build this old tree. Tell you what, while you're teaching those two how to build, we'll all go out and collect materials we need. Oh, thank goodness. Come on, everyone. Let's get collecting. Uh oh, okay, bye. It seems our fellow villagers are eager to build. Oh no! I think there was a um, squirrel spore right over by Lillian. Oh, I didn't even see it. It probably exploded before I saw it. Uh, it seems our fellow villagers are eager to begin building as I. They will do their part. Of that, I have no doubt. But so too must we. Go, men. Gather enough bark to finish the lowest level of the blueprint. Rosie and I shall watch how you do it, and teach the others. It looks like you'll need about 40 blocks of bark. You should be able to find all you need in the rainforest where the Bodkin archers live. No doubt you will have to cut down a tree or two to claim their bark, but it is for the greater good. It is for the D tree. Gather the 40 blocks of bark you need and begin building the blueprint. We'll all join in as soon as we have figured out how it's done. Oh. Uh, well, okay. Alright, let's go gather... Sit. Um... I should have went into this perspective, because then I could see where those thingies were. But it's all so... muddy that I can't tell. Alright, so let's head off to the rainforest. Um, we can just go here. And then we'll run over to the... Or we can just, you know, take these ones. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and... Uh, can I get up higher? Whoa! That's not getting up higher, Amanda. That's getting up lower. Okay. And then... Can I... There we go. And let's see. Get the higher ones. No! I didn't mean to talk to you. Okay, there we go. Now we can just do this. Yay! This tree is floating in midair. Uh, grab that and grab that. All right. Where are my bark? Um, I had quite a bit on me already. Okay, that's good. And then we can just do this. Whoa. Oh, there's quite a bit of bark on this tree. That was nice. Whoop! I made it. I need the bark. And then we'll grab. I'm off of this tree. There we go. Uh, up. Grab that. And then we can grab another level. There we go. How are we doing? Oh, we got more than enough blocks. I'm gonna still gather some more. Just in case. What I want to know is the ones who decided to go off and gather materials, how are they going to do that? <laughs> like, legit, how are they going to do that? No? Yes, I can. Okay. Nope. There's one more. Alright, now we can head back to... here. Wait. No, 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 no. No. Okay. I need... Um, I need to get up. I need to go over to where we found... Yes, over there. Because... I... Was playing... Hmm, I wanted to keep playing this. Like, I wanted to keep playing uh, the Builder game. But... I... No, that was not high enough. Okay. 
Oh, right, I just go up here. And so I played an older, my older game, like my very first one, and I was going around and doing things, and then I found this. It is a, oh, hold on. It's a leaf. But a leaf from the world tree of harboring um, prodigious powers. Revives and restore you to full health upon death. Automatically used if held. Oh, and our wooden workbench is now... Uh, I think it's done. But anyway, I wanted to do that real quick. Because I found that in my older game. And I was like, wait! I never found this treasure chest? What? So, there we go. Now we have a... Essentially a fairy, just in case, you know... I die. Okay, Oh. I think we'll put the blocks down. So. And... I will maybe finish the D tree? I'm not sure. But, I will see you guys then. And as always, keep on smiling. <laughs>